Today I want to speak to you about a tremendously important and very sensitive matter. The sensitive matter of racism in America today. Only seven days ago on May 25th, the life of George Floyd was ended at the knee of a police brutality matter that not only allowed for one police officer to apply a life destructive force on George Floyd's neck and breathing capacity, but while three other officers assisted and watched nearby. This racism, this police brutality in Minneapolis, Minnesota, which has been demonstrated in other parts of our country, has got to stop. We have got to enter a new conversation in this country, right here in Utah, that brings all stakeholders, all minority communities in together with those who are in the seats of position and authority once and for all to address with all intensity this matter of racism in America to the greatest degree possible and with an intensity that says enough is enough. And today I'm calling upon all of those who support and embrace biblical Christianity to live out loud and let your personal private thoughts about racism stop being a private matter and become a public matter where the way you live your life and demonstrate your belief that all men and women of all races are created equal before God. It's time for us to put away any kind of passivity and step forward and become part of the solution and part of the conversation that says racism and police brutality in this country must end. And the people who are in authority must hear the voice of those who have been at the, at the hand of this kind of brutality for far too long. It's time for Christ to be lifted up and racism to be eradicated in our country. Friends, as a bridge builder with principal interest in theological bridge building between Latter-day Saint communities and evangelical communities, I want you to know that today we put aside that for Latter-day Saints and evangelicals and Protestants and Catholics and Orthodox, anyone who names the name of Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior must unite against the evil of racism. Galatians 3.28 says that neither male nor female, nor Jew nor Greek, nor free nor slave, we are all one in Christ. And if that is our doctrine, if that is our belief, we must come together and say enough is enough. Utah may not be Baltimore. Utah may not be Minneapolis. Utah may not be Ferguson, Minnesota. But Salt Lake City was on fire on Saturday. You saw it and I saw it. A police car was burned, a civilian's car was burned who thought that he could suppress the voice of those who have been suppressed for far too long. And he experienced the wrath of that voice and that audience both to his car and to his person. And now is not the time to match force with force, but now is the time to be a member, a community member of this state and this community right here in Salt Lake and our surrounding communities that says no more will we tolerate from our police force or from society in general. Any behavior that treats any minority as less than any other person. We've got to end the difference between white privilege and, and the, the oppression that our friends of color experience in this world. And I think that those who name the name of Jesus are best positioned to be those who would truly live up to the call to be blessed peacemakers in this hour. It is not time to suppress voices. It's a time to hear voices and enter into empathetic dialogue where we really listen and love one another. So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do as our cities are aflame with fire and tension and anger and confusion and frustration? What are we gonna do? If you're gonna be a peacemaker, if you're gonna be someone who learns to listen and listen well, we've got to pray and ask God for his mercy and his forgiveness for racism in our, in our culture and in our community and our society. And then we need to 
live out loud. What we say we believe in privately, we need to live out publicly. We need to love people of color and enjoy and build relationships with them and enter into their pain and, and have solidarity with them such that what they know is what you know and that you can enter into as a white person or as a brown person or a black person or a yellow person, that we enter into each other's realm and become truly committed to love one another and bear one another's burdens and be the bridge builder and the peacemaker that Christ has called us to be. We can do this. We can turn it around. Racism is systemic. It's in all parts of our society. We all have to come together, be humble enough to admit that we all have this, this evil tendency to think less of others that are different than ourselves. Repent of that and come to the throne of grace and mercy for forgiveness and then go live out loud a different way where we love our brother or our sister of whatever community we engage in and we can set this issue in the center of our focus and make sure that we bring uh, bring its demise again to the greatest extent possible and see a world that is full of love for one another.